hi my beauties welcome back to my channel so today I will show you how I came about the hair color you saw on my thumbnail using a black straight Brazilian virgin human hair from today only hair and like I told you guys I'm out to try different colors of hair this summer like I'm about to go all out with colors this summer and I really love how this came out all the way from black to this gorgeous kind of pink red color I can't even explain how gorgeous this color is so the very first thing I'll go ahead and do of course will be to bleach the hair because you can't color without first of all bleaching and I'm going in with a powder lightener and a 40 volume cream developer and I don't have any measurements whenever I'm lifting bundles I just go with the flow I use one thing of the powder lightener and one bottle of the cream developer I just put them together and mix and for four bundles of 26 inches hair and a 20 inch closure I'm using one thing of the lightener and one bottle of the developer and then the next thing will be to start saturating the hair with the mixture and when you're doing this remember we're going very light for today's color so you want to work fast and also we'll have to lift the hair to the to the lightest color possible so you want to deposit the bleach as fast as you can so the entire hair will process at the same time to make sure I get every strand of hair, I will turn it around and do the same exact thing, working fast as I can. I've made mistakes in the past where I didn't open up each side of the bundles to deposit the bleach and at the end of the day, I had some bleach strands and some that didn't bleach. So make sure you open up everything and get even the last strand of hair on the bundle. <laughs> so sometimes when you're bleaching you will notice the first part you did earlier is already processing but don't be alarmed at all just finish up and wrap it in a foil paper like I'm doing here this allows it to process quickly and I normally leave it for about 30 to 45 minutes I'm gonna go ahead and wash off the bleach from the hair and one thing I noticed with this hair is that it processed really fast I kept checking it and after 30 minutes I had to wash it off also I use a neutralizing shampoo to wash the hair as this prevents it from further processing I was kind of concerned the hair didn't lift as I wanted but surprisingly after it dried it was exactly the color I wanted very pure blonde color which is perfect especially for the pink color we are going for today we need the hair very light before depositing the color So for the color, I'm using three bottles of Adore or Adon. I'm not sure how this is pronounced, but I'm using the fruit punch and cotton candy. I'll go ahead and add the color to my bowl. And also, I like lightening my color a little with the help of a conditioner. If you add a lot of conditioner, it will kill the vibrancy of the color. So you have to be very careful. I will just mix the colors and the conditioner together and then begin applying it onto the hair. Also, one reason I love mixing in conditioner with the color is because when hair go through bleaching, the bleach weakens the hair. So mixing in conditioner helps condition the hair while bleaching. Okay, so I'm going to repeat the same exact thing we did earlier, starting from the top of the bundle. I will begin applying the color to the hair. And the two colors I used are kind of a dark pink and a light pink. I don't like using colors that are too light, like a bubblegum pink or anything within that color range because it will not show up on the hair. So going a little dark, darker when choosing colors is ideal. Or else you're using a light blonde color like 613. That way you're not going to be bothered. Like it's going to accept any color. But if you're not able to lift the hair to kind of 613, don't even bother. Don't. You know, bother using a color that is too light because it won't show up on the hair. Use good lotion, body so hot. I take caution in the club, girl. You be casting commotion. Don't slow. Make sure you press the color into the hair so you will absorb. And I also turn the bundles around to get every every strand. Even though sometimes, no matter how hard you try, there must be one or two sides that will never accept the color. It's so annoying. Sometimes I'm like, but I made sure I saturated everything. So how come? But yeah. Ah, that is just you know the work of bleaching and I will just go ahead and make sure I press in the color right into the hair and then wrap it up with my foil paper yeah. 
So I'm always used to keeping the root of my closure up front to dark to match my skin tone but today I decided to color everything. I wanted the same color all over the hair. So I'm just trying this for the very first time because I'm so used to leaving the root of my hair either brown or black but for today's tutorial I wanted to color everything just to have a pure you know pink or like pink red color and that is what we went for. So I left the color on the hair overnight because I want it to completely dry and absorb into the hair and I find that this works better than washing the hair two to three hours later. Leaving it overnight is just bomb. So here I simply wash up the color but I won't use any shampoo so it will retain the moisture from the conditioner. So you can see what I was just saying, sometimes no matter how thorough you apply the color, you will still have some sides on the hair that didn't want to receive sense. Anyways, I will go on and make a wig using the bundles. You guys have seen me make wigs so many times, but whenever I'm making a wig, I love sewing down the closure of front to first, so I will know how exactly to go on fixing the bundles. She wants to see wonder, one get high grade. From a distance, baby, I'm going insane. Red so I was contemplating whether to call the hair or leave it straight while I was making the wig, but finally I decided to flat iron it. And one thing I've noticed is when I flat iron my wigs after making the wig, it doesn't really lay flat. So the new trick I started doing is to flat iron the hair section by section while making the wig. So over here I will spray some color protect oil from orchid oil and then start to flat iron the, the hair section by section. I love this technique so much because it leaves the hair totally burn straight. When we're finished, you will see a significant difference between the natural hair and the one I just flat ironed. It's definitely obvious, you guys. Okay, so I went ahead and finished up with the wig and this is how it looks with natural lighting. This color definitely looks different in different light situations. Out here, it's totally light pink and then inside, it's kind of a darker pink. And I'm so happy with the way this hair turned out. I would say the quality is really high because normally some hair feels and looks very weak after it's been processed but with this one, it's still so much alive and very, very vibrant. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how the hair looks on. And one thing I love about closures as opposed to frontals is that it most of the time doesn't require gluing it down. You simply just throw it on your head and the wig cap holds it in place unlike frontals. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply the wig. As you all can see, it's already fitted and I will just go ahead and try to, you know, just fix it, make it fit. And one thing I, I realized is I didn't really center the pattern at the, you know, exact place it's meant to be, but it's all okay. And then I'm going to go in with my got to be glued gel and just use it to lay down my baby hair because you guys, you see, I just created a little baby hair in front because I felt like the front of the wig was too plain. You know, it just gave me a box um, look, but once I created that little baby hair in front, everything just blended and looked so good. Yeah, you guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and please don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up, and also hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and don't forget to check out my description box if you need any info regarding this hair, and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye! <laughs> If you are watching me, brother, the only special one for me. Uh, now you be the only.